Hi, I'm Harry Bearden from Data Schools Cohort 23, and today I'll be showing you how to create year to date versus prior year to date Spark lines. These are extremely useful in creating year on year analysis when your dataset for your current year isn't complete. Start by opening up Sample Superstore in Tableau. Find Order Date. Hold right click and drop this on Columns and choose Discrete Months. Find sales and drop this on rows. We want this spark line to be a running total, so let's right click sales on the rows and click add quick table calculation and choose running total. This is currently returning the sales for every year in our data set, whilst what we only want is the current year and the prior year to date to be returned. So let's first calculate our current year. Create a new calculated field and call this current year. What we want to do in here is use the year function of order date equals left mustachio max year order date right mustachio and this will return the latest year in our data set. Click OK and find this new calculated field. Right click and duplicate it. Right click and edit this duplicated calculated field and call this our prior year to date. What we initially need to add here is a minus 1 to the end to return the prior year. But we also need to make sure that no dates from the prior year that don't exist in our current year are being returned. So we need to add a new clause in here below this. So let's write AND. And what we want to write below here is a Boolean statement that will only return dates that appear in our current year for the prior year. So to begin this, write ORDER DATE is less than or equals to DATE ADD the date part year, an interval of minus one, another comma, left mustachio, max, order date, right mustachio. And now this will only return dates that appear in our current year for our prior year. Click OK. And now what we need to do is combine these two calculated fields to create one single filter. So create a new calculated field and call this current year or prior year to date. And in here, simply write current year or prior year to date, our two calculations we just created. Click OK and drop this to filters and choose true. Notice we've only got one line here whilst we want to split this view up into the current year or the prior year to date. So to do this, find our current year calculation we created and drop this on colour. This will now give us either the current year or the prior year to date as two lines on our graph. Click colour and let's edit these colours. Let's make one grey, let's make one black. When creating a spark line as it has no axis, it's always good to add some context into the title. So let's create some calculations for the current year and prior year sales. So create a new calculated field and call this current year sales. And what we want to write in here is left mustachio sum if current year, then sales, end, close bracket, right mustachio. This will return the current year sales. Click OK, find this calculation and duplicate it. Right click and edit the duplicated calculated field and call this our prior year to date sales. What we need to change in here is simply change the current year to our prior year filter we created. Now we can calculate the percentage difference between them. So create a new calculated field and call this our current year versus prior year to date percentage. What we want to write in here is sum of current year sales minus sum of prior year to date sales. Wrap these in brackets as you want this to be our numerator divided by our sum of prior year to date sales. Click OK, find this calculation and change it to a percentage in the number formatting. Find this calculated field and the current year sales and drag these both to detail. Go to our sheet title and right click and edit title. 
add in these both these calculations. And let's call this our current year versus prior year to date sales. Let's make the sales larger and bold. Let's make the percentage a little bit smaller. The last thing we need to do is clean up our view a little bit. As this is a spark line, we can hide our headers. We can also format our grid lines. So right click and format, go to lines and remove grid lines and axis rulers. We also want to format these numbers into currencies. So hold control, find sales, find current year sales and prior year to date sales. Right click default properties and number format. Go to our currency custom, make decimal place a one, display units in thousands with a prefix of pounds. We also want this number labeled on the end of our lines to show that accumulative value. To hold control, find our sum of sales on rows and drag this to label. Click on label and choose line ends. Untick start of line and only keep end of line. Go to font and make this match mark colors and make this bold. We've now created our spark line for current year versus prior year to date sales. Thanks for watching this video. If it's been helpful, watch more related content here, such as this video on dynamic bar comparisons by DS23 Terry Osborne.